G'day fellas. So um, if you've got a inverter, uh, there's a good chance at some point that you might get an error show up. Um, it's it's uh, it's going to be a different error for each brand. So for this one I've got here, uh, this is a Sunna inverter. It's off a two kilowatt system. Um, but the error, it's generic for, doesn't matter if it's SMA or whatever brand inverter you've got, just Google the code. If it comes up as a output relay error, uh, then this is how to fix it. So as I said, um, this is a Sunna 2000 TL solar inverter. Um, for this particular inverter, it's error 22. So um, if you turn on your DC isolator, which is your, where your panels come in, and the cable goes to here, and um, and it's hardwired in uh, to AC, then um, when the inverter powers up, it says ERR22 on it. Um, and if you look that up, that's um, an output relay error. The error, like I said, it might the error might be different for different brands, but the fix is very similar for most brands. Um, so you start by uh, undoing the screws. So every inverter is going to be different on this Sunner. There's just a series of screws, nine screws all around. So uh, taking that frame off, you can see in the background there. And now there's a series of screws around the outside of this. Okay, so you're going to need a little bit of electrical knowledge, but not that much. Uh, you are going to need to know how to solder. Uh, it's not that hard though. Um, if you're starting out, I'd probably recommend something like a soldering iron that's adjustable uh, so you can turn the heat down and take your time. Um, so what you're going to, what you want to do, we've got to pull this circuit board out because we've got to desolder the output relay, um, which is obviously the contacts are broken or not or whatever. Um, so first of all, uh, go along, you'll see where your panels normally plug in, your DC side here. So you're going to have to unscrew those. Um, all of these cables here, they'll, they'll be plugged in using connectors. So undo all of those. Um, undo the output wires here, so you're going to want to undo them. Um, and yeah, uh, you'll have you might have a couple of boards like this um, that uh, connected. Uh, you'll see they look like they're soldered in, but if you look closely, um, it's just a Phillips head screw here, um, Phillips head screw there, and that whole board should pull out. Same as this board here. Um, so basically, uh, disconnect everything. Take a photo of everything so you remember where it goes um, and unscrew this board to the point where you can pull that board out and access the back of uh, these relays. That's what we're going to be removing.
you'll see um, what I'm doing now is removing the screws that hold the actual circuit board in now that I've unplugged these cables and all the extra stuff so yeah go around you'll see them they're just going to be the screws holding the board to the chassis so go around and uh, undo all of them okay so I've just um, gone around undone the screws holding the board down also on this particular model they run uh, bolts like like this if you can see sorry about the video um, they run these bolts through the middle of some of the componentry uh, because there's heat sinks behind them um, so I've undone those as well and uh, just have a final look and make sure nothing's connected and then um, you should just be able to lift the board out take your time don't bend anything all your wires and that are going to be in the way just move them out the way a little bit and that's the board out so um after removing the board um, it, it became pretty apparent uh, one of the capacitors um, had melted. This is it here, 350 volt AC, 10 microfarad. Um, that's one of the ones, that was one of the ones that was okay, that was there. But the one next to it, uh, this one here, was all deformed. You could tell straight away it wasn't right. It's actually really hard to get a replacement one of these, um, in Australia at least. Uh, you, I've seen you can order them out of the UK. But um, anyway, I went to JCAR and got a ve very similar one. Uh, 400 volt, 10 microfarad, same frequency. Uh, the temperature rating on it's different. It's negative 25 to 70 instead of negative uh, 25 to 105. Uh, also... Big problem is uh, the width. They're much wider, as you can see. So I can't mount them in the PCB. Uh, also because they don't have the through-hole pins um, to go straight into the PCB. So um, I'm just going to mount them. I've already mounted this one. There's two of them. I've just decided to replace both. I'm just going to mount them elsewhere on the circuit board. And then um, I've got some... 2 by 0.75 millimeter um, wire, uh, mains wire, 250 volt wire, and I'll just run that from the capacitor back to the PCB and um, see how it goes. The uh, the only other thing to consider is um, obviously they're the capacitors uh, that run to the output relays. They're the output relays there. They're Song Chuan. You can see the model number. Um, so yeah, look, you could, uh, desolder these and replace them as well, but these ones look like they're in okay condition. And I think the error, uh, for the inverter is just simply coming from the fact that it could sense, um, that this capacitor wasn't, uh, performing. So I'm going to leave them, solder the capacitors in. Uh, and give it a run and if it fails then I'll just take it apart and replace these as well There's no um, polarity issues with an AC capacitor since it's AC, uh, so shouldn't um, have to worry about which way around the poles are on the PCB. Um, 
so that's the first one which I'll make probably short I'll make that the one that goes on the right I'm just gonna cut that there Okay, my love. I'll be there in a minute. So that's more or less the fix for this. Um, just replacing those two capacitors haven't changed out my relays yet. I'll uh, do a final video when I hook it all up and it should be fine, hopefully. Um, otherwise, I'll be pulling these two relays out and replacing them. So, um, just got the inverter all hooked back up. And, um... As you can see on my little external um, my external monitor here, it's ticking along, no errors generating. Generating slowly. thousand watts so uh, thanks for watching and um, please subscribe if you haven't already